Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce how to use your laptop communicate with the Siemens i7-200 controller. So i7-200 controller is an old style controller. Uh, it's already phased out. The successor that is the i7-1200 or in uh, Asia area, that successor is the i7-200 Smart PLC. But we need to upgrade the existing machine. That machine using i7-200 controller, upgrade this 200 controller to i7-1200 controller. But the first thing is you need to upload the existing machine controller's program and then upgrade this uh, i7-200 program to i7-1200 controller. So the first thing first, you need to communicate with this existing i7-200 controller. So in my hand, I have uh, one actual i7-200 controller. So I will use the two ways to communicate with this controller to show the download how to upload with this controller. In this video, I will show how to use a PC PPI cable or programming adapter to download and communicate with this uh, actual controller. And this adapter, that is a general adapter you can find from AliExpress or Amazon. It's cost effective. And this cable has a USB connector. Another side of this cable, that is RS-485. And the protocol of this cable, that is a PPI, communication protocol. This protocol can allow your computer communicate with the i7-200 controller. Another way, I will show how to use the Siemens PG-5611 to communicate i7-200 controller. I will use the next video to show how to communicate with this way. This is the Siemens adapter, but both of those two kinds of adapter First thing is really hard to find it. Another thing is uh, those two adapters are really expensive. And in this video, the cable what I'm using is on the screen. The basic idea of this cable, the USB port that image your USB port to a COM port and use this COM port transfer to a RS-485 with a PPI protocol allows your computer to communicate with the uh, i7-200. So let me show how to do that. So when you plug in the cable, USB connector, plug in your laptop, and if you go to the manager of your system, go to the properties, and go to the hardware, device manager, and then you will find uh, in your COM port, ports, COM and LPT, you will find out that this cable, after you install the driver and plug in this cable, you will find your system already imaged one COM port. So this cable image the COM port that is number three. So from the properties, we can find that the port setting, the speed, initial speed setting that is a 9600 and the COM port number you can set or you can adjust this uh, COM port. I will use this default COM3. Okay. Let's start to program the controller. So the software to communicate with the i7-200 that is uh, step 7 microwin version 4.0 SP9. So I programmed a very little simple logic here. So when I turn on this contact and with this timer, and it will fire the output, very, very simple logic here. Once you finish the program, let's try to communicate with the controller. Double click this icon, the CPU icon here. Click the communication. Go to set PGPC interface. 
And from here, we'll see that this software is a micro win. That is a access point in the set PEPC interface. And the physical channel we will use, that is a PC PPI cable, PPI protocol. We select this and go to the properties. And in the properties, in the PPI portion, this page, we select the transmission rate, that is 9.6 kbps. That is the initial setting. When the software try to communicate with the controller, we can select uh, search all the transmission rate. We just set this value as an initial. We have a three choice here. And let's go to the local connection. Here is a very important setting. Because our Windows system images this cable to a port 3, the COM port 3. So from here, I will select a COM, port, COM 3. Maybe someone will ask, why not we use the USB? So the, the, this USB selection will be only be selected if we use the Siemens adapter. That adapter, one side is a USB, another side that is the RS-485. So even if the adapter, what I'm using, that is a USB, but however, the actual port is working, that is COM port. So I still need to select a COM3. It's the same setting in your Windows system. Click OK. Click OK. So when you click the OK, we can come here to overview of your setting. That is the PC PPI cable COM3. Protocol that is a PPI. And the initial speed that is a 9.6 kbps. Take care of this checkbox. Search all the bound rates. That allows your software to scan the controller with all the transmission rate. Check on this box. And from here, we double click to refresh. So the software is scanning all the controllers in the network. This network is a PPI network. So the software finds uh, one controller that address is number two, transmission rate that is 9.6. So let's click OK. So from here, if we hit the read PLC, this number is the actual CPU type and the version it read from the actual controller. If we change this number and after we hit the read PLC, it fresh is it updated. That means you already communicate with the controller. Hit the OK. So that means currently our software can communicate with this actual controller. So once we finish the program, we hit the compile arrow is zero, and then we try to download the controller. So from here, we hit the download. It shows, do you want to place the CPU PLC in stop mode? That because for 200 controller, once we download the controller, the controller need to be stopped it. And then once all the program downloaded, the CPU will start. But during the download, the CPU has to be stopped. It. Once download finished, it shows do you want to place the PLC in run mode? Yes. Once we hit OK, the controller will be started. And from here, we can hit this button, Program Status. It will show the online status of your program. And if I hit the right status, it will fire this uh, timer. That means I want to stop this output. If this energy turned on, 
the fire the output. So that means our software is communicating with the actual controller. So let's have a quick review. So in this test, our actual setting, we select a PC PPI cable, that is COM3, with this uh, cable, that cable image the USB port to a COM port. In my system, that is COM3. And don't forget, select the checkbox search all the bound rate. Allows your software to scan uh, all the transmission rate in this PPI network. That PPI network physical cable, that is RS485 cable. That is this video I want to show. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.